So in SQL Server, we have two kinds of tables. We have a table with an index, or we have a table without an index. More specifically, we have a table with a clustered index, and it's called a table with a clustered index. We have a table without a clustered index, and it's called a heap. Right? These are very important words. Well, at least a heap is. You should know what a heap is. And a table with a clustered index, well, you should know it's called a table with a clustered index. So let me show you what that means. Let's go and create a table. Customer. Remember what our identity seed is. It's a monotonically increasing key. This one is a surrogate key because it has no meaning to the rest of the data. It's here only to provide us order. And here we're altering a table and we're adding a constraint and we're adding a primary key clustered on the customer ID. So let's go ahead and do that. And now let's jam some data in that table. That's great. And now let's take a look at that table. So we're looking at a table with a clustered index. So what does a clustered index do? Come on, IntelliSense, that's it. It orders the data for us. One, two, three, four. It's stored in order for us. All right. Heaps are not. So if we were to take this index away from our customer table on our customer ID, it would not be ordered. You would not see one, two, three. You might see two, eight, twelve, one. All right. So a heap is an unordered structure. A table with a clustered index on it is a table that has order to it. And a table with a clustered index actually is a table. Now that'll take a little time to sink in. It's not a separate entity. All right, so a non-clustered index is a separate entity, right? A clustered index is the actual data. All right, that's not dig into that now, let that kind of sink in for a minute. What I want to get across here is that we've got two primary tables in SQL Server. Right? We have heaps with no clustered index, and we have tables with clustered indexes. Right? So those two, those are the two primary ones. And we will talk more about that later. For this course, we've got two tables, a heap and a table with a clustered index on it.